Hello there, everybody. My name is Kuro Black, and today we're gonna be looking at two very, very interesting matches. Uh, the first one is in Mullet. Uh, we, as we can see, uh, I'm a postman, so I'm currently main in postman. Now, sorry if I'm speaking relatively uh, low at any given moment because since I'm, I'm not recording in my house. Uh, I don't want to make trouble to uh, <laughs> Liz's family. So I got a question for everybody here. Do you think that Postman is weak? If so, uh, are you a hunter and do you like chasing the Postman? Or are you a survivor and maybe hates to see Postman in matches? Maybe because you think he's weak? So yes, tell me all about it, please. Uh, because if that's true, if any of you guys think uh, that if he's just weak, we can always try and disprove uh, all of it, you know? So we notice here that the hunter puts a peeper. The peeper is very important because we know he's not going to use blank. Uh, then I'm just kiting like a normal, like normal. Uh, these matches are literally... These matches are literally as... It's kind of like how every single match goes. Uh, generally, when I'm trying to kite, it all goes pretty smooth uh, for the most part. Right here, I know he's waiting for his ability to end. So I wait for him to get close enough to the ramp stairs. And then I can start walking, running. Then I have the dog. I put the dog on him. That means I can literally transition all I want. Here I'm getting to the left side of the ability so that he cannot he cannot spam his ability just by you know if you if you know how to counter or how to go across, you're gonna be able to evade his ability for the most part. It's all about uh, it's all about the hunter most of the times because most hunters always have like a different style. They like to do these things. They try to predict your movement a lot. So if you know they're predicting too much, you can use that against them. So here I, I see him going this way. I jump the window. He's not fast enough. So I simply just go. I fake that I'm going here. Psych. I'm going to the other pallet. I don't have to go through there. And then you just keep on guiding. Simple. Like you don't even have to waste every pallet. I see him on the other side and I throw the pallet. Better. I throw the dog. He is very in in this is the a very key moment. He is the hunter was far far enough from me. He could not move or evade the dog. And technically I can walk or run away a lot of distance just because he is slow right so we can still transition to many other areas so postman is really really strong at guiding <clears throat> what i find is that some survivors uh simply like don't know how to react with postman but it's it's just simple look at this look at bliss going like a boss look at Liz. Liz is just a boss my dudes uh, so she waits a little. We know we got a pop. I'm telling her, hey, save me right now. It doesn't matter. <laughs> We're literally gonna do this. So she's gonna take the first hit. That's an awesome body block. But I, I still take the second one because I don't care. I literally don't care. Then I read a speed letter. And I'm instantly flying. I'm zooming, you know. Then I still have my dog. So even if I'm not gonna be running fast anymore... I can throw my dog, get to the big building, and gain as much time as possible. Then here I'm like, looking at the hunter miss all the, his notes for some reason. And that's kind of how it goes. That's kind of how it goes, you know. Uh, evading, uh, evading his ability, uh, sometimes it's strange, right? Because when you're in the, when you're in the mindset, you just go to the left or go to the right and you evade it uh, but it's something that you have to practice as a kiter and things like that now 
uh, to the ma next match. Uh, this is a Hell Ember. So, what I've been seeing is that uh, at least in the last few days, uh, kiting has been awesome, you know? Kiting has been awesome. Hunters have been following me nonstop just because they think that maybe Postman is weak. Who knows, right? But look at me doing these. Uh, you could almost say they're really, really, really big mistakes, right? Uh, just letting him get so close to me in that moment and then me using my dog at that moment but it doesn't matter so look at him he goes in he misses i know i can get to shack right now because he missed then i throw the pallet he was not fast enough uh it's kind of that's more of something that i knew i could do um but it's based on you know experience you know that hunters like to do these things uh, and they like to put pressure. So I see him going kind of to the right. And then I start going to the left. Because I want to transition this way. I do not want to go to the other way. I throw this. He puts the poppy. So I look behind me. Put the dog. And now he cannot attack me. The poppy will not come after me. He wasted the fire. Now he has no dog. And he thinks I'm going to go to the pallet. So that's where the juke comes in. I hear him put the the puppet inside the the building inside the tree pallets so i i'm just you know i just want to kite i, I just want to move at that moment now i'm like okay i, I want to transition away so i put myself a speed ladder speed ladders are really really good <coughs> really important <coughs> uh if you're if you're the one kiting i would recommend using that so I thought the hunter was gonna use blink right there thinking I was he was gonna terror shock me for some reason but he did not but it doesn't mean that he doesn't have blink he has not used a single ability other than you know a normal attack and even right now even right now I'm gaining so much distance just look at where he is he's over there I'm just fucking around with the dog and so I just keep moving we just keep moving i saw him go in and then the light confirmed it so i just go the other way i jumped this blink i instantly knew it so we st i start running away it is it's just a reaction you know uh so i see that he's only going to go through that small gap that's great because i can throw my dog throw this pallet my dog is gonna leave at the exact moment that he's uh that the pallet uh, is gonna start getting broken so it was not even wasted he I, I did not even waste my dog so he should have maybe jumped uh seeing him go around like that give me more advantage he was gonna come for me but then he was like nah i want to go for Liz, and then Liz gets hit after Liz gets hit he's going uh, the hunter decides to break the connection because it's about time we do this um now mind you this hunter is not bad he's not even the worst and he's not even the best but it doesn't mean that he is not a good hunter he actually knows what he's doing for the most part but you cannot you cannot judge him you know so i put i put the dog and look at this it's kind of bullshit right it's kind of bullshit most hunters would just feel humiliated at that point uh for missing that simple hit at least this guy uh this hunter was still trying his best uh was still trying his best against us so that's really awesome for him just look at this other mistake boom what <laughs> just what i just keep doing miracles and then i did a silly silly mistake because i was not looking at him uh, i was more uh I was more worried about the uh, the puppet in itself, so I'm like, okay, let's let's heal each other, let's just heal, you know. And uh, at, at this point, at this point, this is when you can start thing, uh, seeing the match go in a different direction because you know what's happening. So you have a forward, and then you have a gravekeeper, and you're like, okay, great, they can die slowly, they can kite they can all of this right but the gravekeeper is not crawling to a wall in order to help 
<laughs> Sorry. In order to help, uh, in order to help uh, the forward save him, he did not actually do that. So that was a really big mistake. Now here we can see the forward do a pretty nice uh, job at doing a little stun, getting the the tight turner safe. And I'm like, uh, since I'm with Liz, I'm communi communicating with her. So I'm just going around thinking, okay, let's let's finish these two ciphers. Uh, I sent a letter for uh, as a speed boost to the gravekeeper so that he could start running away, and maybe we could get enough time to get the puff for him. But the doesn't the hunter doesn't go for gravekeeper. Instead, the hunter goes for the forward. This is where things uh, go wrong. This is where things can really, really go wrong. And then we're gonna remedy. So he uses her charge. She, she got attacked twice because the the puppet got activated in time. Then the hunter decides, you know what? I'm not gonna I'm not gonna follow this. My puppet can do it because I'm gonna camp, obviously, right? Just look at him trying to defend. Then he goes towards Liz. So Liz is trying to kite. Ah, and she gets terror shocked <laughs> with a blink, mind you. So that was what he was trying to do to me. I tried to use the dog, I missed. The hunter could have probably killed me in that moment, but he wanted forward, which is great. You know, it's, it's okay, he can do whatever he wants. <laughs> So I got a little close. I knew he was going to use the puppet so that maybe he would start following me. It did not. So here I'm like, okay, he may teleport here after killing forward. So we need to start touching this. I, I knew the grave, uh, the grave keeper was going to come and help us. So after I see the hunter getting in closer, I know he's going to teleport with the puppet. So I put my dog. And that's when... Uh, because the hunter should get a speed boost when he changes just look at how far back he is uh, using the dog right is the best thing ever thank you so much for watching